Hi everyone and welcome back and if you're new here, I am Prakriti and in today's video I am going to review the Good Vibes Rose Hip Skincare products. I have four of their products that is a face wash, a toner, a facial gel and ultimately a facial serum. I am going to review all the four products separately. They also had a facial moisturizer, a rose hip facial moisturizer but I didn't buy that because these products already have a lot of fragrance and I didn't want to overload fragrance on my face. I have been trying these products for about 24-25 days and I have my final review ready in my mind and on my notepad. I used a scrub thrice and that was because I was getting a few breakouts and I thought that it was because of not exfoliating or my skin was not getting proper exfoliation because it was monsoon a few days back and my skin had like three pimples in this area one is still there kind of red but yes um, that's why I used a scrub but other than that I just used these products and nothing else even after removing my makeup I only use these products also I have some timestamps in the description box so in case you want to skip to a certain part of the video just check out the description box before we move ahead I really want to talk a little bit about rosehip oil because this whole skincare range is based on the rosehip oil so I really really wanted to talk a little bit about the oil. Now rose hip oil is something that's extracted from the fruits and seeds of a rose plant. There are a number of benefits of using rose hip oil. It has got fatty acids that strengthen your cell wall, hence maintaining the hydration of your skin. It also exfoliates your skin and boosts collagen production because this has got vitamin A and vitamin C. Rose hip oil has antioxidant properties because this has vitamin A, C and E which means it fights sun damage. Along with that, it may reduce hyperpigmentation, acne scars and wrinkles. So that was the main reason why I wanted to try these products, my hyperpigmentation. I, I always want to even out my skin tone. I don't know why but yes that's the main goal every time I try products. I'm also going to show you a before and after in the end of this video so stay tuned for that. I ordered all the products from Purple and I'd also recommend doing a patch test before using the products all over your face. That's also mentioned on the packaging of each and every product. Another thing that I saw on the website is that they are cruelty free and also Good Vibes has their own official website so you can also buy the products from there. Let's start with the face wash. So this is the Good Vibes Rose Hip Deep Cleansing Face Wash. Before starting, I'd also like to say that all of these products have a rosy fragrance. Uh, it smells very much like rose but a little bit different. Last two ingredients are color and perfume and that's the case with I think all the products. So this face wash retails for rupees 175 for 120 ml of product and this has got a pump packaging. I enjoyed this face wash a lot and I feel that it's a really good face wash for dry and dry combination skin type. So this doesn't rip all the moisture off of your face and yes this leaves you with a nice glow but this has got a lot of fragrance you guys. For me, I find this fragrance to be really nice and soothing and good because I like the fragrance alright but if you have sensitive or acne prone skin, this is probably not the best face wash to try because yes this has got a lot of fragrance. Another thing that I noticed was that rose hip oil was mentioned in the last few ingredients and that's normal with a face wash. In most of the face washes, uh, the active ingredients are listed down below which means they are lower in concentration so I'm not mad at it and I used this face wash twice a day morning and night. They say that it's infused with nourishing rose hip extract. It gently washes away impurities and replenishes your skin from within for a radiant healthy complexion. Actually I did notice a subtle glow on my face after I washed my face with this face wash and towel dried it and I really love that glow and plus it doesn't rip all the moisture off of your face so that I really like but I'll definitely recommend this face wash for dry and dry combination skin if fragrance doesn't irritate your skin and for acne prone and sensitive skin this is not a product to go because this has a lot of fragrance and it will probably irritate your skin. The next product that I have over here is their toner. So this is the Good Vibes Rose Hip Skin Clarifying Toner. A toner is mainly supposed to maintain the pH balance of your skin. I use this toner twice a day after washing my face with the face wash and again this too has got a lot of fragrance. I don't have any problem with this fragrance but if you're someone whose skin cannot take fragrance then I don't think any of these products are for you because 
all of the products have a lot of fragrance and this again retails for rupees 175 for 120 ml of product now let's talk about the packaging this comes in a spray kind of packaging and this has got a very nice and fine mist and that i really loved about this product because the mist is very very fine i spray it directly on my face instead of using a cotton pad because if you are using a cotton pad with a toner that can be sprayed directly you're actually wasting the product and also cotton pads so please just spray it directly on your face because this this product in particular has got a really nice and fine mist. Now let's get to the ingredient list and the second ingredient is rose up oil which means it's present in higher concentration in the toner and again the last two ingredients are perfume and color. Now this toner is definitely hydrating, it hydrates your skin, it gives your skin a subtle glow. Once you apply this toner it's very watery but you just have to leave it on for two to three minutes and it gets absorbed into your skin and it leaves you with a very nice glowy face. I'm about to exhaust this toner and I'm thinking of repurchasing this toner because I really like the fragrance number one and uh, number two it's really a good product for dry skin I'll not say that it's going to drastically change the skin in a month but it's just a nice hydrating nourishing kind of toner basically my skin feels really good after applying this toner the next product that I have is the good vibes rose hip hydration face gel and this retails for rupees 215 for 100 grams of product so this is a product that I was not very much impressed with it comes in this tub packaging and this has no parabens and no sulfates. I mean I don't have a lot of problems with parabens and sulfates in my skincare products but I'm just stating these facts for you guys. This product is a facial gel so it has got a light red color to it and obviously it's very much gel like but once you apply it to your face it's very sticky right after when you apply it it's very very sticky and tacky but if you leave it for about five minutes most of the product gets absorbed into your skin not all all right so that's why i'd not recommend this product to oily skin acne prone and definitely not to sensitive skin because again a lot of fragrance the second ingredient is glycerin which is a humectant now what's a humectant it pulls water from deeper layer of your skin to the outside hence maintaining the moisture of your skin rosehip oil is the ninth ingredient on the ingredient list i'll not recommend this to very dry skin because on one hand it's sticky but on the other hand it's not enough moisturizing for very dry skin because whenever i apply this product i feel that i need to layer up a moisturizer on top of this and i do that sometimes i apply either my simple light hydrating moisturizer on top of this or maybe the cetaphil moisturizer so yes it's not hydrating enough for very dry skin the next and last product is the good vibes rose hip radiant glow face serum now this retails for rupees 183 for 10 ml of product and this is hands down my favorite of all the products that I tried. The first ingredient is rosehip oil and along with that this has sesame oil, almond oil, vitamin E. This is a proper package of oils for dry skin and when I apply this onto my skin this has got a very thick and oily consistency all right this is serum you may feel that this can be a little bit watery but it's not at all watery it has got a very thick consistency like hair serum kind of consistency this is specially meant for dry skin because this provides intense hydration so i'll not recommend it to oily skin people and this also has got fragrance although it's not mentioned in the ingredients any fragrance or color but you can definitely smell some fragrance it feels really oily after application like you have applied coconut oil to your face but even thicker than that but if you leave it for about five minutes it gets completely absorbed into your skin it does give you a nice glow I apply it during the night time after applying the toner and this really soothes my skin you guys. It's so calming and the fragrance too is very very calming and along with that I'd also like to say that this serum should be the last step in your skincare routine because this has got a very thick and oily consistency so if you apply it before anything else probably the rest of the products are not gonna penetrate deep down so they will not be effective. So if you are layering up skincare products, this serum should be the last layer. So that was the review part and overall I liked these products but the thing is that they didn't reduce my hyperpigmentation, they didn't reduce wrinkles, they didn't even out my skin tone and that is what I feel but 
I may not be the best judge for this thing because honestly I see myself in the mirror every day. I feel that you guys uh, should judge this but honestly I do not feel that these even out skin tone or reduce hyperpigmentation. They are obviously very very nourishing in nature and they are very very calming especially if you have normal dry dry combination or combination skin type but if you have oily skin i'd say that you give the face wash and toner a try but you should definitely skip the face gel and the serum because they have very thick kind of consistency and if you have acne prone or sensitive skin i would not recommend any of these products to you guys because these are just not meant for your skin type for my skin i really enjoyed all the four products i have really normal dry skin which becomes combination skin sometimes i don't know how but yes it may be because of too much heat but right now i have like very normal dry skin so I really like these products. These are rosehip products and they are very cheap and that was the main reason why I wanted to try these products because rosehip products generally are not this cheap and they are super super affordable and I really liked the products for the price that you have to pay. These products work really good for my skin type although you will not see a drastic change in your skin like evening out of skin tone or your hyperpigmentation gone in a snap but yes these are very nice nourishing and calming products for your skin if you have normal dry or dry combination or combination skin type and that's it for the review hope you guys find this helpful if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.